It's your boy Cuffer here, and welcome to the start, well, the, I guess, technically the restart of Matt Jackson's soccer career. As you can see in, he is now a goalie instead of a striker, and this video is currently taking place during a preseason tournament, as mostly going to be explaining everything. So, first of all, um, the reason it switched was because he was able to be in the MLS, and I just had to play as him specifically. And with the Korea team, I couldn't exactly do that. So I'm going to use him in the MLS um, so he can play and so it can be more realistic. Um, but as it, it will show you, even though we don't have any of the main menu, on here, he is a backup goalie for the Houston Dynamo, which is close to his hometown, Austin. I forgot there was an Austin team, so he's staying in Houston. I tried this before, but all the files corrupted, so now we are here. This would technically take place during the second trimester of his sophomore year. So, as you can see here, he's just playing goalie, and it's going to be very interesting. Real quick, as you can see, I tried to go in. I looked at an instant replay. It was a little stuck there. But we go back. The game ended, like, about there, actually. So, you see, we get into the next game against Cincinnati FC, and... Just playing this game, staying in goal. It's very confusing, the controls. You can see here, it's just going to be a montage of practically getting scored on. But this is a really interesting story I'm trying to make. I'm trying to, especially with this game, build up a player that's really from nothing. He's just a rant. And this is what most, you think, Everyone's always these high star players. This guy isn't even playing high school soccer and decided, I'm going to the MLS and this is what I'm going to do. He's just some random kid from Austin, Texas, trying to make this dream come true. He's a backup on the Dynamo. He's getting goals scored on him. Right now, kind of not doing well. And he's going to have to work really hard to keep this position. He's going to have to try as hard as he can in practice every last week and more. It's not just going 100%, it's going 200 it's going 1,000%. And someone who plays a actual sport, who tech, it's... It was their second year of playing the sport. It's almost like you're still starting over. Coaches don't care what you were in back when you were playing in middle school. And it's the same thing. High school coaches don't care about middle school. College coaches, they care about high school, but they care about what you do now. Um... For example, NFL and professional league coaches, they don't care what you did in college. They don't care what you did in high school. They only care about what you're doing for that team. And you're going to have to prove to your coaches that you are that player, that you're reliable, that you can be this player that will lead their team to a championship or will be a cornerstone and make this team better, and you're not just a waste of money. And just overall, sometimes you see the players that weren't rated as highly coming out of high school or weren't high draft picks. Sometimes they're some of the best players because it's not, oh, I'm a first-round pick. I'm starting right away. I'm going to be fine. It's I have to work. Every they're scrappy players. They have to work for every yard, every opportunity. They're players 
for example, I've heard of Kayvon Turpin. He went from TCU, didn't get drafted, went to the fan control football league, went overseas, first receiver drafted in the USFL. Well, he also played in the spring league as well. But USFL went crazy, won MVP, and was still fighting for a spot in the NFL at 26 years old. You usually get drafted between 20 and 22 years old. So that's a good at least four years of having to work his butt off and try and make it. And that's what I want my player to become. I want him to be the scrappy player that's fighting for every last, any opportunity for every last game. He, he doesn't get anything. He, he doesn't get everything he wants. He has to deserve it. And with him having to deserve every last chance he gets, he also has to balance being in high school as well. Because it's not just focusing on being in high school, it is also um, playing soccer. It's not just soccer, he has to get good grades because he's trying to play other sports as well. So, because if the MLS doesn't work out, he's um, hoping to make it to other sports like hockey or to football and stuff like that. So... Overall, my character is just trying to be one of those players you see that have to, just in summary, have to work for everything. And now we're starting out here against Colorado, I believe. And... Okay, now we... Cleared it, I believe. No, we did not. I saw that wrong. So, as you can see, we're backing up into the goal line as they bring it further back. And what's really interesting about um, this is I've never seen a game in the snow in FIFA before. Mostly because I've barely played it. But... At the same time, it's weird because what would happen if it was white lines? Like, you can see it because it's orange, but if it was white lines, what would they do? It would be harder to see the uh, box for the goalie. So, overall, I don't know. Also, it looks way better than it does in Madden. And there's a lot of stuff they could add. Um, from FIFA into Madden. As you can see there, we do score a goal. And that's the one thing about being a goalie. You don't get to score goals and you don't get to see the goals really. Until the replay. That was a good upper left kick. So. So, yep. As you can see, we're subbing someone out. And we are still back in goal because that's kind of what we have to do. So, as you can see here, I believe that says 82 minutes or 85. It's hard to see from here. But, we are going back and forth just trying to stop a goal and make sure that we do win this game, get our first win of the tournament. And most likely only win, because if I'm right, I believe you most likely have to have two wins. And yeah, as you can see, we pick it up, we kick it. That's what we've been practicing. That's what we've been doing in our trading. They said it was a good kick. We've had A in our kicks and throws the whole entire time. The coach likes what we do there. And honestly, we just have to make sure that we win this game and don't give up anything big that could lose it. And that's the big problem that we have in goal, which is kind of funny because you would think that if you're a goalie, you would have to be good in goal. But not for me. 
I am not real. Well, um, Matt Jackson isn't really good in goal, and the person playing him is not very good in goal. So you can see we got an extra minute. Um, for extra time, and as you can see, still staying by the goal, and after this, I believe, yep, and that will be it, we get our only win of the tournament so far, Houston Dynamo does win 2-1 to one over, um, over Colorado, the Rapids, and now as you can see, hopefully, I don't know if it's glitching out for you too, but we're doing a bunch of practice sessions, and the big reason we're doing it is we did not move on later on. We were, we should have been in second, but they said that um, the Rapids were better than us. Even though we did beat them, so technically we should have the tiebreaker. We had same amount of points, same record. So overall, that's a little annoying, but it's whatever. And as you can see now, um, just doing a bunch of training really to end out this episode before we will show you the um. What is it called? Our first game we will play of the regular season. So we'll have a couple regular season games and then we'll have a game for the U.S. Open Cup. That will not include three teams from the MLS. It will include Montreal, Toronto, or Vancouver. So with that, there will only be 26 teams in there. And... Because when this game was made, I don't know if there's more now, but I believe there was only, um, there was only 29, minus 3 is 26. So, just trying to get better at a bunch of different stats, do some training, do a bunch of practices, hopefully get that starting spot and goal. And, overall, that's really it. And... Thank you all for watching. Hope you understand why we had to redo it. I will see you all in the next video.